One reason we pray is because it is the way we have a conversation with God. When we talk to a friend, we tell them about ourselves and what we're doing, and we listen to what they have to say and find out about them. The more we get to know a person, the better friends we can become, and the more we grow to love them. The same is true with God. The more we pray, the more we get to know God. The more we get to know God, the better friends we become, and the more we love Him. God knows us better than anyone else ever can, so He must love us more than anyone else. Because He loves us so much, we want to try to love Him in return. This is another reason why we pray, because without prayer, it is very difficult to love God. Prayer is the gift God gives us to help us to get to know Him better and to really come to love Him. In our family, from the moment we wake up and when we go to sleep at night, our relationship with God is there through everything. We pray before meals, we pray morning and night prayers, and it's not something we add on, our relationship with God, but permeates through everything. We're thankful, we've raised our children to say that we're thankful for each new day, it's not a given. And so we thank God for our lives and for all the gifts he's given us. Our regular prayer routine, I'd say, um, probably um, entails the, the evening prayer that we do with the kids. It's quite a common thing that we've managed to maintain consistent despite all the craziness of, of life and, and young kids, um, where we try and maintain that moment within the bedtime routine to just uh, to, to say a little prayer together. Right now we try and just do a decade of the rosary um, let everyone in the family think of one or two people maybe they want to specifically think about. I think certainly with young, with young children, you can't sit them down and say, prayer is important. Uh, because they might go, oh yes, okay, but then they want to go off and do something else. Um, you, yes, there is an example. Yeah. yeah. You, you, you know, you, we look forward to the prayer and it is a moment of sort of solace and um, hearing God's word. And um, and that's what they see, and then that's what they want to copy. Yeah, and, and, and that's what they want to do as well. I think it has to be something that they yeah something that they see, something that you do as a family, I th and I think that's the importance of it. Then is that it happens often, um, and that it's it should you know ideally you want it to be something that you're doing every day. There are several different ways we can pray, and for convenience, these can be called vocal, mental, and contemplative prayer. Prayers such as the Our Father and Hail Mary are what we call vocal prayers, and they play an important role in our prayer life. Saint Teresa of Avila, who lived in Spain in the 16th century, said that vocal prayers should be said with the greatest of devotion. That does not mean that we need to think about every single word every time we say the prayer but we do need to make sure that our souls are turned towards God and that we are not just rattling off prayers without really thinking. Another type of prayer is mental prayer and this is the way that we can talk to God about our everyday life and in return listen to what he has to say to us. This is probably the easiest form of prayer because we do not need to remember set words. It simply comes from within ourselves Mental prayer is not something complicated, difficult, and reserved for the professionals. It is meant for everyone. A third type of prayer is contemplative or silent prayer, because we do not use words or even in our minds. We simply rest silently in God's presence. We've encouraged um, regular prayer in the family, um, mainly because it's our primary way of communicating to God. So our children know that you know if you love someone, you want to spend time with them, you want to speak to them, you want to be in their company. So putting yourself in the presence of God and, and speaking to God through prayer is the primary thing that we try and encourage because that's what you do with people you love. Mm -hmm. And um, I think our, our faith is, um, like prayer, I feel shouldn't be separated from our daily life, our daily, um, um, th you know, the things that we do. I think our life, sh it, prayer should be part of it. It should be second, second nature. We started building in little things like what was your favourite thing today and thank Jesus for the, your favourite thing and what do you want to ask Jesus for? So there's that little sense that, that personal prayer is, is not just 
the laundry list. Jesus, I'd like a new bike. Um, that it's all that it starts with a thank you. We've that I think that worked well for a while, and now when we say what was your favourite thing, they go I don't know. Yeah, sometimes it's hard or, because it depend how they are in themselves. But yeah, yeah definitely. What was your favourite thing today? With an idea that we then bring it, bring all these things together, and we say thank you to God for them. One thing I try to teach them is a practice that Saint Alphonsus Liguri was um, suggesting of the three Hail Marys. There are several stories of people that have practiced this uh, practice okay. and have been helped to come back to the faith. Um, or for final perseverance. And I say to them, try and do three Hail Marys when you get up in the morning, three Hail Marys before you go at night. If you do that every day and make it a, a, a habit, at least you've said those three Hail Marys, no matter what happens in the day. And you've said something, you've reminded yourself of God. Individual prayer is the bedrock of family prayer. A family is made up of a number of people each called by God, each on his or her own journey towards truth and love. We cannot establish a relationship with God in our children, or anyone else for that matter, but we can provide examples of praying with faith, with humility and perseverance, and we can teach prayers that will unfold in our children's understanding as they grow. The example of a parent who is sincerely seeking to pray will teach children more effectively than anything else. Teaching our children to pray is the single most important thing we can do for them. Finding time, however short, to pray as a family is invaluable. There are many reasons for going to Mass. First, the Mass is the very best form of prayer. At Mass we have a unique way to talk to God that we will not find anywhere else. When we are able to receive Holy Communion, we receive God within us. And just after doing so is an especially good time to pray. Also, when we listen carefully to the readings, God will offer us help and direction and the Mass will also give us strength to try to live our lives well. Another reason to go to Mass is that every time we do so, we witness the sacrifice Jesus made when he died on the cross to save us. So do we not owe it to God to go to Mass? Moreover, we go because Jesus asked us to do so at the Last Supper when he said, do this in memory of me. Finally, we go every Sunday, the day of the resurrection, because the church requires us to, unless illness or some other insurmountable difficulty prevents us. The Holy Church knows that this obligation of love will express our priority in life and help us on the road to heaven. The most important thing is to always to plan when you're going to Mass as the focal point of your weekend or your Sunday and work everything else in around that. Some families will always go to the same mass time, but perhaps that's not always possible. So again, having that time and working out from that, then making it special, having a special maybe Sunday lunch or an evening meal, and maybe having a treat, an extra special pudding. These are ways to, kind of, to make it special and keep that as a, you know, something that the children look forward to. One way we make Sunday special is by ensuring we're all dressed up nice. We put an effort into our clothing or we have a couple of traditions of, you know, doing pancake on Sunday morning, getting dressed up nice for church, doing a special meal later on in the day. Um, normally it's the roast. 
Um, we'll either we'll have that here or we'll go to family. We'll spend it with other family. My parents, for example, are quite close by. We might spend some time with them. Uh, the rest of my brothers. Um, to just try and encourage that as a day that we spend together, really, with, with, with family. And of course, it's always centered around going to church together with the children. When our children were little, uh, we always went to Mass first thing in the morning and on the way back we would stop off um, at a little cafe and allow them to choose something as a special treat. No matter how well they'd behaved or not during Mass, just to mark the fact that actually it was uh, the Lord's Day. And then of course food was always a really big thing, a really special meal and a really nice dessert. In the first part of the Mass, sometimes called the Liturgy of the Word, or traditionally the Mass of Catechumens, we hear readings from the sacred scriptures, from the Old Testament, where God's people are waiting for the coming of the Messiah. We have Psalms, which are the hymn book of ancient Israel, prayers of praise from the Old Testament. Jesus would have prayed the Psalms when he was growing up, and also quoted from them a lot in his teaching. Sometimes we have a reading from the New Testament, either from the Acts of the Apostles or the first leaders of the church, such as St. Paul, teaching the early church how to live and love like Jesus, the Lord. The final reading is the most important one from one of the four Gospels of the New Testament, Matthew, Mark, Luke, or John. In solemn masses, the Gospel can be sung the Gospel is Jesus speaking to us directly, often in his own words. Mass every Sunday is a, is a real priority for us. It's something that we always make sure that we do, at the very least on Sunday, you know. Um, yeah. And of course every holiday of obligation mm. and uh, um, the special feast of the year. But I think as, as Cecilia mentioned, it's about the day centering around the Mass. Everything we do is around the Mass. If we're going to go out, we plan where can we go close to the Mass, what can we do, how can we integrate yeah, it with our, it doesn't, with our I plans. Mean, and if one kid is sick, we, one of us will go to Mass first and then the other will go later. So which will change a little bit the, the rhythm of the day, but there's no Sunday without going to Mass. Mm. There's so many wonderful resources when you come into Mass. Um, and we always brought in uh, books but not just everyday books. We had a pile of special books at home that we took to Mass with us that were all about Jesus and the saints, coloring books that you can get now that are just so wonderful to keep the children occupied, but to always keep their focus on Jesus um, and his love for them. It can be very difficult with children if they're misbehaving, but persevere, persevere. Really, it, it, the grace that they get from being there will last them a lifetime, even if it's at our cost of not being able to focus and concentrate. I remember an occasion when my daughter was playing up a little bit. I was there at daily mass and I, I took her out and thought, oh, I shouldn't come back in again. And our lovely sister in the parish said to me afterwards, bring her back in, nobody minds. You know, she needs to be there, you need to be there. And I was always very grateful. I remember that now to this day. A bell can be rung at Mass, usually at the time of the consecration, when the most sacred action of the Mass takes place. It calls for our attention and for us to focus. At the consecration, the priest repeats the words and actions of Jesus at the Last Supper. He takes the bread and says, This is my body, which will be given up for you. Then he holds the host up high, showing it to all, and offering it to God as Christ was offered in sacrifice on the cross. The bells are rung. It is a time to focus with profound reverence and respect. The congregation is kneeling in silent prayer. The priest then takes the chalice of wine and speaks the words of Jesus once again. This is the chalice of my blood. The priest holds the chalice high, offering it to God, and the bells are rung. The wine has become Jesus' precious blood, just as the bread had become his body. Jesus is really present and offers himself for us 
as he did 2,000 years ago on the cross. The Mass gets its name from the final words of the service that the priest says, which are in Latin, Ite Missa Est, which means, Go, you are sent. The Mass takes its name from this final phrase, which points to its key purpose, namely, to equip us to go into the world as Jesus' true disciples, to spread the gospel to others and to live out the life of Christ whom we have received in our everyday lives. Confession is like a bath for the soul. When our soul becomes grubby because of sin, confession cleans it. One person put it this way, when we are baptized, our soul gains a window to God and his light shines through this window, bringing warmth and brightness to our life. When we sin, the window begins to get dirty or misty. As time goes on, we are not able to see God very well at all and his light can even be completely blocked out by mortal sin. We need to find a way to clean the window. The way is called confession. When the window is clean and his light shines through it again, we can see God clearly once more. If we've done wrong, or if we've, uh, amongst ourselves, um, we try to apologise, but show, you know, they can see that we've made, we can, you know, we've made up. And also if the, if we've, if I've told the child off, um, you know, and I didn't really know the full situation, I do then apologise afterwards and making um, them know that, you know, it's not, you know, you shouldn't be prideful to say sorry. Sorry should just come, you know, it should be something that we are, um, you know, we should do. It's something that's, that's important. Once they've said sorry within, within the family to a friend, they also need to take um, the same weakness to God and ask Him for forgiveness because they would have at the same time offended God too. So confession is just a beautiful way of first of all saying sorry to God, um, being aware of the, the weaknesses that they have um, and also to ask for the grace to overcome this weakness um, in, in, in future settings. If a child's uncertain about what they should say, I mean, get them to jot it down. They can always tear it up afterwards if they're unsure. Get them to go through, make an examination of conscience on a daily basis. A quick thing, what did I do well? What did I do badly? That certainly makes going to confession an easier step. Then it's really helpful if they know some of the prayers, they know the format. That can be really helpful, particularly if they haven't been for a while. It's really good maybe to pick up a sheet in the church with that on. Usually the act of contrition is there in the confessional, so that's not a worry at all. They'll always be able to say that. And remember, it's the priest is there in persona Christi, in the place of Christ. It's Christ that forgives us, and he's just waiting for us to come there and come regularly. The grace that you get from going to confession gives you the strength to keep trying, and it gives them the strength to keep trying too. So lot, these are lots of different ways, I think, that we can help our children prepare for confession. In confession, the priest stands in for Jesus. He acts as Christ. It is not the priest that absolves you from your sins, but Jesus through the priest. Also, by our humble action of going to confession, and it is not easy to say our sins to another person, even if he does represent Jesus, we do show that we are truly sorry for what we have done. When we go to confession, we also receive grace, the restoration of our relationship with God or the development of that life within us. This is an essential part of the sacrament. The grace that we receive from going to confession is something very positive. It gives us extra strength not to sin again. Confession is the sacrament that reminds us that God loves us unconditionally and always forgives when we ask. Through going to confession, we also learn to love and forgive others too. 
with every confession you are a bit closer to God. With every single confession you are a bit better, a bit better. Even if you fall, it doesn't matter. Next confession and you're getting better. So we try to explain this to children that you know that there's a always chance to get better, and confession is the point that gives God gives us a lot of graces, so we can improve, we can be better person every every day. Even personally, it's, like, it's never comfortable to go yeah. to con confession. It's like you could say it's sometimes could be quite embarrassing to go to confession, but likewise, it's quite embarrassing to go to your doctor. You need to be healed. You go and see your doctor. You need to be healed of your soul. Mm -hmm. go to confession. We do often ask the children for forgiveness. We do recognise, by God's grace, we do recognise our weaknesses and we often say to the children, I'm, I'm really sorry for being impatient or um, for, you know, I uh, used some harsh words, so, uh, you know, I'm, I'm sorry. Um, so the children see that we have our weaknesses as parents too and they see us go to confession, we encourage the children to go to confession, but equally they see us going too, so... Um, as parents, yeah. we have to be examples to our children yeah. and I think it's a big mistake as parents to pretend that we're perfect and we get everything right and at the end of the day it is true but by I have there have been times where I apologize more to the children than they have to, to me um, and they, I, but it's great because it makes because I find it e I find it easy now to apologize they also find it easy and that brings peace I think unity within a family is key mm -hmm. and having discord in in a family is so destructive it's and so confession and I think for us to be able to, you need to be humble. We have humble, to humble yeah. ourselves as parents yeah. um, to allow the children to recognize what humility is and for them also to imitate that same behavior. If possible, we should go to confession on a regular basis. For example, once a month. However, it is good to say sorry to God as soon as we realize that we have done something wrong, especially if it is a mortal sin. Even if it is quite a small sin, it is good to say, Jesus, I am sorry, straight away. Then, when we can, to go to confession. The best way to encourage our children to go to confession is by going ourselves. A good practice is to go together as a family, and then perhaps have a family treat afterwards. If children get into the habit of going to confession regularly when they are young, and I help to see it as something
As it's Sunday, we will be praying the glorious mysteries of the rosary. So during this time, just invite everybody praying to place their petitions before our Lord in our mother's hands. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, the creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who is conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there, he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body and life everlasting. Amen. For our Holy Father's intentions. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The first glorious mystery is the resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. 
Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, and lead all souls to heaven, especially those who have most need of thy mercy. The second glorious mystery, the ascension of our Lord into heaven. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. 
Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, and lead all souls to heaven, especially those who have most need of thy mercy. The third glorious mystery, the descent of the Holy Spirit. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, Pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, Pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O oh my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, and lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. The fourth glorious mystery, the Assumption of Our Lady into Heaven. 
Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O oh, my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, and lead all souls to heaven, especially those who have most need of thy mercy. The fifth glorious mystery, the coronation of Our Lady, Queen of Peace, Queen of Heaven. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, 
pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, and lead all souls to heaven, especially those who have most need of thy mercy. Hail, Holy Queen, Mother of Mercy. Hail our life, our sweetness, and our hope. To thee do we cry, poor banished children of Eve. To thee do we send up our sides, mourning and weeping in this veil of tears. Turn then, most gracious advocate, thine eyes of mercy towards us. And after this, our exile, show unto us the blessed fruit of thy womb, Jesus. O clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary, pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. O God, whose only begotten Son, by his life, death, and resurrection, has purchased for us the rewards of eternal life, grant, we beseech thee, that meditating upon these mysteries in the most holy rosary, of the Blessed Virgin Mary, we may both imitate what they contain and obtain what they promise through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. Our Lady of Walsingham, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.
Walsingham, welcome. It's lovely to have you, and may you have a blessed, if not a little cold, pilgrimage here today. For today's collection, just by way of some housekeeping, if you are a taxpayer and you wish to give by cash, by loose collection, please could you consider using the gift aid envelopes which are in the front of those benches that you're sitting in, kneeling at. Uh, by placing your money in those envelopes and filling the envelope in and signing it gives us that little bit of uplift on the loose collection through the government's gift aid scheme. If you're giving by card, you can use those little machines at the back of the church, again using the gift aid facility if you possibly can. Thank you too for those who give so generously online. Thank you for your support. And again now let us settle down for Mass to prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Again, you're all most welcome.
The angel of the Lord declared unto Mary, And she conceived by the Holy Spirit. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now, and at the hour of our death. Amen. Behold the handmaid of the Lord. Be done unto me according to thy word. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now, and at the hour of our death. Amen. And the Word was made flesh. And dwelt among us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now, and at the hour of our death. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. Pour forth, we beseech thee, O Lord, thy grace into our hearts, that we, to whom the incarnation of Christ thy Son was made known by the message of an angel, may by his passion and cross be brought to the glory of his resurrection through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. Our Lady of Walsingham, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. I 
Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Today we're celebrating our Lord Jesus Christ, universal King of the universe in time and space. As we gather to celebrate this holy mass, first of all, we call to mind our sins in the light of of God's mercy. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Glory unto Him. Oh, 
Domine Deus, Rex Celestis, Deus Pater Omnipotens, Domine Filio Nigenite, Son, the King of the universe, grant, we pray, that the whole creation set free from slavery may render your majesty service and ceaselessly proclaim your praise through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the prophet Ezekiel. The Lord says this, I am going to look after my flock myself and keep all of it in view. As a shepherd keeps all his flock in view when he stands up in the middle of his scattered sheep, so shall I keep my sheep in view. I shall rescue them from wherever they have been scattered during the mist and darkness. I myself will pasture my sheep. I myself will show them where to rest. It is the Lord who speaks. I shall look for the lost one, bring back the stray, bandage the wounded, and make the weak strong. I shall watch over the fat and healthy. I shall be a true shepherd to them. As for you, my sheep, the Lord says this, I will judge between sheep and sheep, between rams and he goats. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. 
fresh and green are the pastures where he gives me repose. The Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. Near restful waters he leads me to revive my drooping spirit. He guides me along the right path. He is true to his name. The Lord is my shepherd. There is nothing I shall want. You have prepared a banquet for me in the sight of my foes. My head you have anointed with oil. My cup is overflowing. The Lord is my shepherd. There is nothing I shall want. Surely goodness and kindness shall follow me all the days of my life. In the Lord's own house shall I dwell forever and ever. The Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Christ has been raised from the dead, the first fruits of all who have fallen asleep. Death came through one man, and in the same way the resurrection of the dead has come through one man. <clears throat> Just as all men die in Adam, so all men will be brought to life in Christ, but all of them in their proper order. Christ is the first fruits, and then after the coming of Christ, those who belong to him. After that will come the end, when he hands over the kingdom to God the Father, having done away with every sovereignty, authority and power. For he must be king until he has put all his enemies under his feet, and the last of the enemies to be destroyed is death. And when everything is subjected to him, then the Son himself will be subject in his turn to the one who subjected all things to him, so that God may be all in all. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Matthew. 
Jesus said to his disciples, When the Son of Man comes in his glory, escorted by all the angels, then he will take his seat on his throne of glory. All the nations will be assembled before him, and he will separate men one from another, as the shepherd separates sheep from goats. He will place the sheep on his right hand, and the goats on his left. Then the king will say to those on his right hand, Come, you whom my Father has blessed, take for your heritage the kingdom prepared for you since the foundation of the world. For I was hungry, and you gave me food. I was thirsty, and you gave me drink. I was a stranger, and you made me welcome. Naked, and you clothed me. Sick, and you visited me. In prison, and you came to see me. Then the virtuous will say to him in reply, Lord, when did we see you hungry and feed you, or thirsty and give you drink? When did we see you a stranger and make you welcome, naked and clothed you, sick or in prison and go to see you? And the king will answer, I tell you solemnly, in so far as you did this to one of the least of these brothers of mine, you did it to me. Next he will say to those on his left hand, Go away from me with your curse upon you, to the eternal fire prepared for the devil and his angels. For I was hungry, and you never gave me food. I was thirsty, and you never gave me anything to drink. I was a stranger, and you never made me welcome. Naked, and you never clothed me. Sick and in prison, and you never visited me. Then it will be their turn to ask, Lord, when did we see you hungry or thirsty, a stranger or naked, sick or in prison, and did not come to your help? Then he will answer, I tell you solemnly, in so far as you neglected to do this to one of the least of these, you neglected to do it to me. And they will go away to eternal punishment, and the virtuous to eternal life. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My dear pilgrims to Walsingham, dear brothers and sisters in Jesus Christ, as we celebrate the solemnity of Christ the King, the church's liturgical year ends today. Yes, it closes with a vision of the end of time, the four last things, death, judgment, heaven, and hell. Consequently, the scene in the Gospel is stark and resounds with Old Testament echoes. The Son of Man is enthroned over the nations and peoples of every language. The nations are gathered to see his glory and to submit to his judgment. The King is the divine shepherd Ezekiel foresees in today's First reading, judging as a shepherd separates his sheep from goats. Very simply, we are reminded that each of us will be judged upon the works of mercy we hear about in the sobering gospel of today's Mass. These works, as Jesus our Lord explains to us today, are reflections or measures of our love for him, our faithfulness to his commandment that we love God with all our heart and all our might and our neighbor as ourselves. 
Our faith is dead, lifeless, unless it is expressed in works of love, concrete works. And we cannot say that we truly love God, whom we do not see, if we don't love our neighbor, whom we can. The Lord is our shepherd, as we sang in today's responsorial psalm. And we are to follow his lead and imitate his example all through life. After all, he has healed us of our sickness, freed us from the prison of sin and death, and welcomed each of us who were once strangers into his very own family, the church. He has clothed us in his grace, in baptism, and feeds us now from this altar with the spiritual food and drink of his very own body and blood. When we face our final judgment, as we all will, if we have lived faithfully, we need not fear. But if we have not up to now, we still, thank goodness, have time to change by the power of God's grace. Here in Walsingham, and when we go back home, we know that Blessed Mary is Queen of Heaven and Queen of Earth, just as the Lord Jesus is Universal King. And being in God and with God, Blessed Mary is close to each one of us. She knows our hearts and she hears our prayers. She always listens to us, is always close to us. And being mother of the Son, the Blessed One, she participates in the power of the Son and in all of his goodness. Meanwhile, brothers and sisters, let us always, with God's grace, strive to be following our Lord Jesus Christ in the right paths, that his kingdom might be our inheritance and everlasting home. Amen. 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 Let's stand now and profess our faith together. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, catholic, and apostolic church, I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead 
and the life of the world to come. Amen. We turn to God our Father for all that we need to live in his light. For all in the church, that our belief in Christ our King will lead us to value the things of God's kingdom more than the things of earth. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. For all those who rule, that they will strive for peace and justice and protect the rights of the disabled and the unborn. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. For all who lack food, water, shelter and clothing, that those who have an abundance will share willingly and generously with those who have little or nothing. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. For all who come here on pilgrimage, joining our prayers with those whose intentions are included in this Novena Mass, those who have left petitions in the Slipper Chapel, and all who have lit candles in and around the shrine. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We call to mind our personal intentions. We ask Our Lady of Walsingham to join her prayers with ours as we say, Hail, Hail Mary, full, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. thee. Blessed, blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Eternal Father, look kindly upon us, your servants, and hear these prayers we make in this shrine of Our Lady of Walsingham, and help us to live always in your grace. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Same 
hope in His great name. With the same faith His word proclaim. Alleluia! Let God Scattered company is light. In service to the Lord of light. Alleluia. So shall God's will on earth be done. New land still in, new task begun. And the whole church at last be one. Alleluia. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord, may the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands to the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all his holy church. As we offer you, O Lord, the sacrifice by which the human race is reconciled to you, we humbly pray that your Son, himself may bestow on all nations the gifts of unity and peace through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks. 
Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for you anointed your only begotten Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, with the oil of gladness, as eternal priest and king of all creation, so that by offering himself on the altar of the cross, as a spotless sacrifice to bring us peace, he might accomplish the mysteries of human redemption, and making all created things subject to his rule, he might present to the immensity of your majesty an eternal and universal kingdom, a kingdom of truth and life, a kingdom of holiness and grace, a kingdom of justice, love and peace. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. Sanctus, 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 Dominus Deus Sabaoth, Sanctus, 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 Hosanna in excelsis. Ladies and gentlemen, Terra, Gloria to You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy, and you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you. By the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing broke the bread and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, 
the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven. And as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church, and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself, grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit, may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, with Our Lady of Walsingham, and with all the saints, on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth, with your servant Francis, our Pope, and Peter, our Bishop, the Order of Bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained to your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family, whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, Gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who are pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory, through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honour is yours forever and ever. At the Saviour's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the kingdom, the power, the glory is yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign for ever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your 
Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
breath that there may be joy to rule humanity to share with gratitude let this be our prayer and may each child of earth long for a freedom that will flourish in all lands. That there may be bread, that there may be joy for all humanity to share with gratitude. Let this be our prayer. That our love cannot be real unless we choose to bless each other as blessing we have known. That there may be bread and there may be joy for all humanity. To share with gratitude, let this be our prayer, and may each child of earth long for the freedom that will flourish in our lands. Lord, what should I do?
Let us pray. Having received the food of immortality, we ask, O Lord, that glorifying in obedience to the commandments of Christ, the King of the universe, we may live with him eternally in his heavenly kingdom, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Once again, thank you all for being here at Mass today on this beautiful feast. This afternoon in this chapel we have Adoration of the Blessed Sacrament from 2 till 3. And then at 3 o'clock we have our afternoon devotions. And you're all most welcome. Those devotions of the Divine Mercy, Holy Rosary, and concluding with benediction of the Blessed Sacrament. In just a moment now I'm going to give the final blessing which includes a blessing on all the articles that you might have brought here at the shrine and wish to be blessed. Thank you again and have a blessed pilgrimage and a safe journey home. And of course, for the Liverpool and Witness pilgrims, to for now. <laughs> the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow down for the blessing. May the God of all consolation order your days in his peace and grant you the gifts of his blessing. Amen. May he free you always from every distress and confirm your hearts in his love. Amen. So that on this life's journey you may be effective in good works, rich in the gifts of hope, faith, and charity, and may come happily to eternal life. Amen. Amen. And may the blessing of Almighty God the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit come down on you and remain with you forever. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God.
Divine Mercy Chaplet. You expired, Jesus, but the source of life gushed forth for souls, and the ocean of mercy opened up for the whole world. A fount of life, unfathomable divine mercy, envelop the whole world and empty yourself out upon us. Amen. A blood and water which gush forth from the heart of Jesus as a fount of mercy for us. I trust, trust in, in you. you. A blood and water which gush forth from the heart of Jesus as a fount of mercy for us. I, I trust, trust in, in you. you. A blood and <coughs> water which gush forth from the heart of Jesus as a fount of mercy for us. I, I trust, trust in, in you. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. In atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. In atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. In atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. 
the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood soul and divinity of your dearly beloved son our lord jesus christ in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have <clears throat> mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. In atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. Holy God, holy mighty one, holy immortal one. Have, have mercy, mercy on us and on the whole, on the whole world. world. Holy God, holy mighty one, holy immortal one. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. Holy God, holy mighty one, holy immortal one. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. Eternal God, in whom mercy is endless and the treasury of compassion inexhaustible, look kindly upon us and increase your mercy in us, that in difficult moments we might not despair nor become despondent, but with great confidence submit ourselves to your holy will, which is love and mercy itself. Amen. Amen. Jesus, I, I trust, trust in, in you. Jesus, I trust, trust in you. Jesus, I trust, trust in, in you. you. Saint Faustina, pray, pray for us. Saint John Paul II, pray for us. We now pray the mysteries of the Holy Rosary. Uh, today we pray the glorious mysteries. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Pray for the Holy Father and also for peace in our world at this time. <clears throat> our Father who art in heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil Amen Hail Mary full of grace the Lord is with thee Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, 
And blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O oh my Jesus, forgive, forgive us our us sins, sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, especially those who most need of thy mercy. The first glorious mystery, the resurrection. He has risen, he is not here. Behold the place where they laid him. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. And blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. And blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O oh my Jesus, forgive Give us, us our, our sins. sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven especially those in most need of thy mercy. The second glorious mystery is the ascension of our Lord. So then, the Lord, after he had spoken to them, was taken up into heaven and sits at the right hand of God. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Full of grace, the Lord is with thee. 
Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, <coughs> and blessed is the fruit of of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. And blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O oh my Jesus, forgive, forgive us, us our, our sins. sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. The third glorious mystery, the descent of the Holy Spirit. And they were all filled with the Holy Spirit and began to speak in foreign tongues, even as the Holy Spirit prompted them to speak. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. And blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace. 
grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O oh, my Jesus, forgive, forgive us, us our, our sins. sins. Save, Save us from us the from fires, fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. The fourth glorious mystery, the Assumption. And a great sign appeared in heaven, a woman clothed with the sun, and the moon was under her feet, and upon her head a crown of twelve stars. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, Pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be world without end. Amen. O oh my Jesus, forgive, forgive us, us our sins, sins. Save, save us from the fires, fires of hell. Of hell. Lead, Lead all souls, souls to heaven, heaven especially, especially those who most need of thy mercy. The fifth glorious mystery, the coronation of Our Lady, Queen of Heaven. Thou art the glory of Jerusalem, the honour of our people. The hand of the Lord hath strengthened thee, and therefore thou shalt be blessed forever. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. 
Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed <coughs> is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O oh my Jesus, forgive, forgive us, our us our sins, sins. Save, save us from, us from the fires, fires of hell, of hell. Lead, lead all souls, souls to heaven, heaven. Especially, especially those who most need, need of thy mercy. mercy. Hail, Holy Queen, Mother, Mother of mercy. mercy, hail, hail our, our life, life, our sweetness, and our hope. hope. To thee, to thee do we cry, all banished children of thee. To thee, thee do we send, send up our sighs, mourning and weeping in this veil of tears. Turn then, most, most gracious advocate, thine eyes of mercy towards us. And after, and after this our exile, show unto us, us the blessed fruit of thy womb, Jesus. O clement, o, clement, o, loving, o loving, O sweet, o sweet Virgin, Virgin Mary. Mary. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God. That we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. O God, whose only begotten Son, by his life, death, and resurrection, has purchased for us the rewards of eternal life. Grant, we beseech thee, that meditating upon these mysteries in the most holy rosary of the Blessed Virgin Mary, we may imitate what they contain and obtain what they promise. Through the same Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. In the name of the Father, of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Tantum ergo sacramentum, venenem ucenui, et antiquum documentum, novocet et ritui, prestet fide supplementum, sensum defectum. Genitori, genitorque, laus et jubilatio, salus honor virtus coque, sit et benedictio, procedenti abutroque, Compass it loud at seal. Amen.
Panem de cello frestititia is. Omne delectamentum in se hapentem. Oremus. Deus qui nobis sub sacramento, mirabini passinis tui memorum reduquisti, trebimu quesimu, ita nos corpris et sanguinis tui sacra misteri venerari, ut redemptionis tui fructum in nobis judita sensiamus, Qui vives et regnas in secula seculorum. Amen. Blessed be God. Blessed be God. Blessed be his holy name. Blessed be his holy name. Blessed be Jesus Christ, true God and true man. Blessed be Jesus Christ, true God and true man. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Blessed be his most sacred heart. Blessed be his most sacred heart. Blessed be his most precious blood. Blessed be his most precious blood. Blessed be Jesus in the most holy sacrament of the altar. Blessed be Jesus in the most holy sacrament of the altar. Blessed be the Holy Spirit, the Paraclete. Blessed be the Holy Spirit, the Paraclete. Blessed be the great Mother of God, Mary most holy. Blessed be the great Mother of God, Mary most holy. Blessed be her holy and immaculate conception. Blessed be her holy and immaculate conception. Blessed be her glorious assumption. Blessed be her glorious assumption. Blessed be the name of Mary, Virgin and Mother. Blessed be the name of Mary, Virgin and Mother. Blessed be St. Joseph, her spouse most chaste. Blessed be St. Joseph, her spouse most chaste. Blessed be God and his angels and in his saints. Blessed be God in his angels and in his saints. Most holy, 
the prayer for England. O blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, and our most gentle Queen and Mother, look down in mercy upon England thy dowry, and upon us all who greatly hope and trust in thee. By thee it was that Jesus, our Saviour and our hope, was given unto the world, and he has given thee to us, that we might hope still more. Plead for us, thy children, whom thou didst receive and accept at the foot of the cross, O sorrowful mother. Intercede for our separated brethren, that with us in the one true fold, they may be united to the chief shepherd, the vicar of thy son. Pray for us all, dear mother, that by faith fruitful in good works, we may all deserve to see and praise God, together with thee in our heavenly home, Amen. Amen. Our Lady of Walsingham, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Salve Regina, Mater Misericordiae, Vita Dulcedo, Espes Nostra Salve, A Te clamamos, Exules Filii Heve, A Te Suspiramos, Gementes et flentes, in hac lacrimarum vale. Ea ergo, advocata nostra, illus tuos misericordes oculos, ad nos converte. Et Jesu, benedictum drum, Ventris tui, nobis, post hoc exilium, poster 